I did that! Yeah. Okay, I think you're to die. Zero. So I know which one you're. Wait, I got an I got an extra two. I know. Have you ever wanted to pillage and profit by it? Well, then this is the game for you. This is a great way to introduce your grade three students to three variable algebra. This is going way beyond the curriculum and you'll see that it works. Often that's the way it is. You hit things with a sledgehammer and it, you do much better than trying to finesse things to fit into a little, little bit of a curriculum. Here we go. This is the game board. We'll have lots of different game boards. This is the one I'll introduce the kids to. You do not introduce kids to a new puzzle or game by saying rule number one, rule number two, rule number three. Automatically, you've lost 10 to 20% of your class. Much better. Johnny, in the back row, left. Okay, can you guess what might be the price of a drumstick if you were to sell it right now? And Johnny would say, five doubloons. And you could even give a little hint uh, that, look over there if he doesn't seem to get it. Okay, next, uh, the axe. How many, how much do you think the axe would be worth? And again, five doubloons. At the start of the game, five doubloons. And at the start of the game, how much do you think a shield is worth? And you would point to the next stu student. There are no hands going up for this. It is one student contributes, contributes, contributes all the way through your class for this entire game explanation. Now it's time to play and you're going to say, you know what, you guys are going to play against me and that gives me an advantage because I know the rules and you guys don't. So next student, where do you want to start? You can label this, uh, you, can, you can just call out a coordinate. So like you can go A3 or B4, uh, what, what coordinate would you like? You'd like A2, okay, and would you like to go uh, left from A2, right, or down from A2. You want to go down, okay? Uh, now it's my turn. I'm going to go B3 to C3, so that's going to be my turn. If any of you have played Dots and Boxes, you're correct. This is a variant. Oh. <laughs> Uh, it's their turn, and they say, okay, I'm going to go C1 to C2, and we go back and forth like that, and uh, each time drawing a line until it's time for me. For example, here, I am going to do this, and I'm going to claim that. So there we go, that is claimed by me. And what does that mean? The five arrow pointing up means that I get to increase the value by five doubloons of any one of those objects, the drumstick, the axe, or the shield. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna increase the axe. Once you complete a box, you get to take another turn. So it's my turn again, and I'm going to go here. Uh, they go like this, and They've completed that box, so they get an axe now, so that's worth 10 for them at the end of the game. Uh, they then just take another turn, they get a shield. They then, then do something so smart. This is not typical at all of grade threes. So they went over here at, uh, from D3 to D4. You see that? They, they went down there. And that was smart because it, it forces me uh, now to, to, to take something I don't really want to take. So my turn, I'm going to do that. I get the shield and I get to choose something to go down. And, five, I'm, and I'm going to choose the drumstick. So the drumsticks are now worth zero. Okay, now it's their turn. It's my turn again. I'm going to do that. And it's their turn. They're going to grab a drumstick. They're going to grab another drumstick. They're going to grab the axe and they're going to grab the 10 doubloons. What is the score? Uh, the shield for both of us is worth five, so I get five, they get five. The axes, we've, 
they've got both axes, so they get 20 points for that, plus they get another 10 points for the, for the 10 doubloons at the bottom there. So they end up with 30, I end up with, they, they end up with 35, and I end up with 5. So this is, uh, this is a time for um, pretending like I'm a sore loser. Okay, enjoy the game. Hey, Mr. Pickle, I won the last round of this, and I think I'm going to win this. I don't think so. You have me there for a minute. I wonder what she's going to raise the price of.